Booming population and industry growth here in South Carolina are putting a greater strain on one of the state's most vital resources, water. Now state leaders are working hard to ensure access to this critical resource remains stable for years to come. State House reporter Mary Green explains how. A new group called Water SC met for the first time Wednesday here in West Columbia. It's tasked with figuring out how to ensure South Carolina's most precious resource remains accessible and safe for generations. We have got to plan for 100 years ahead. Planning for next week is not enough. We got to really do some thinking. That's why Governor Henry McMaster formed the new group last month through an executive order. Among its top priorities is the formation of a new state water plan, which it'll have to finalize by the end of next year. We aren't starting from scratch. We know more today than ever before about water use. The group is made up of nearly three dozen people representing conservation and preservation groups, utility and industry leaders, farmers, state agency heads and others. Their work could lead to future changes in state regulations and laws concerning water. Everyone in South Carolina has a vested interest in how we manage and protect our water resources. South Carolina leaders say the state's ongoing growth in population and industry make this a crucial time to plan for the future. South Carolina's Secretary of Commerce says reliable access to utilities, including water, is a top priority for companies looking to locate here. The ability of local communities to provide sustainable and abundant water can mean the difference between their chance to creating good paying jobs for the people who, who live in their communities. And the chair of this group says they'll be relying on public input to complete their work with opportunities for South Carolinians to contribute, including listening sessions across the state, as well as submitting written testimony. Reporting West Columbia, Mary Green.